the newest robots, inventions and technologies of the future, and which is worth keeping an eye on in 2021. Get ready for the most interesting thing from the world of high tech in today's one issue. And for everyday cleaning, Samsung introduced the JetBot 90 AI Plus robot. It's a vacuum cleaner that uses LiDAR and 3D sensors to clean close to furniture and children's toys. The JetBot's internal camera can be used to monitor pets as well. The first discoveries of this year are Samsung's home robots. The Smart Index Terrace Bot Handy can determine what material an object is made of in order to calculate the force required to maneuver it. The robot can pick up laundry, load the dishwasher, set your table, pour wine, and even bring your drinks. Cameras on the robot's head and limbs are responsible for object recognition. For maneuvering and manipulation, only the robotic arm, which can rotate at three points, specifically in the shoulder, elbow, and wrist. The arm ends with a universal grip that works with objects of different sizes and shapes. The robot can move around the room on a platform, turn from side to side, and rise to reach higher objects. The Toyota Research Institute showed its version of home robots not so long ago. The company's engineers are trying to solve two problems, teaching robots to perform everyday tasks around the house and to overcome the limitations imposed by the unpredictable environment of each individual home. The latter task is partly solved by Toyota's new robot hanging from the ceiling, but it's also unlikely to be implemented in the existing modest-sized Japanese dwellings. Rather, these are developments for future homes and apartments. Toyota is not saying much about the technology behind this robot, but it recently showed off its new lab, which was created to test this very robot. A recent reality has been a Moly Robotics futuristic robot kitchen project. Not as futuristic as the concept, the robotic kitchen is already quite functional. The system is sold together with furniture and utensils as everything is adapted for optimal robotics work based on proven industrial manipulators. The specially designed gripper can not only use spatulas and ladles, but also, for example, crack eggs, use a blender, or turn on the water. The robot takes ingredients from human prepared containers. But beyond that, the entire cooking process is fully automated. The robot was trained with the help of a camera recording the cooking process and its verbal description, breaking down the recipe into simple steps such as stir, flip, salt, makes it fairly easy to teach the robot new dishes. This year, Agility Robotics has seriously upgraded its humanoid robot courier Digit, making it completely self-sufficient. All you need to do now is tell the robot the route or the endpoint and it will go where it needs to go, bypassing obstacles along the way. Digit is the world's first commercially available humanoid robot with two legs. Currently, the price is unknown, but it's rumored to have six figures. The robot can lift weights up to 18 kilograms, gently by bypassing people and interacting with other robots. Digit's main customer today is Ford. The company plans to use the robot for deliveries in conjunction with its unmanned car. The robot uses LiDAR and multiple cameras mounted on its torso to scan its surroundings and quickly detect obstacles. The Chinese Institute of Industrial Technology introduced this year the Dual Arm Robot System, a robotic system with two arms. The total number of joints at 29. This dexterous robot with five fingers and seven degrees of freedom can easily manipulate objects of different shapes and sizes. And they're made of composite material, which makes the robot lightweight yet durable. Another novelty found was Chinese copy of the Boston Dynamics robot dog. The Wei Lane Company introduced Alpha Dog Robot, which is able to move at speeds of up to one kilometers per hour, move with 10 different gates, and carry a load of up to five kilograms. The robot is also able to move autonomously, avoiding obstacles, maintaining balance, and getting up after a fall, and, according to the manufacturer, perform a number of other tasks using artificial intelligence. For example, serving as a guide for the blind, guarding homes, or patrolling a park. It's already sold 2,000 units at a price of just under $2,500. Now, from humanoid robots, let's move on to our four-legged friend robots. A new and rather unusual robot dog was introduced this year by Tencent. The robot dog Max uses the original leg and wheel connection scheme from Tencent Robotics X Lab, which allows him to both walk on four legs and ride on wheels at 25 kilometers per hour. Tencent's software and hardware platform allows the robot to reach its surroundings and control its own balance, as well as plan actions with calculation delays of only 0.3 milliseconds. This robot can also stand up after falling down. 
an unusual four-legged novelty of the year, was Hyundai's Tiger X1 robotic courier for hard-to-reach and remote locations. The robot is dropped off in a night area by drone and then rides on wheels and rises on its feet to step over obstacles if necessary. The top of the robot can easily be replaced with a refrigerator or a regular box. The robot has only a prototype so far, but it seems that Hyundai is serious about this technology development and plans to bring to the market a commercial version. Boston Dynamics itself this year also introduced a couple of new products, specifically a brand new robot for warehouses named Stretch, and an updated version of the robot Spot with an incredibly nimble and smart robotic arm. Earth-based robotics have made their mark this year as well. Carbon Robotics unveiled a robot for destroying weeds with a laser. This autonomous robot uses computer vision, a powerful lighting system that allows the robot to accurately identify weeds at any time of day, as well as eight 15-watt carbon dioxide lasers. The robot weeds 6.5 hectares a day. We couldn't cover this without mentioning this year's protagonist, the Martian Drone Ingenuity. Although it's not exactly a robot, the vehicle opened a new milestone in the history of exploration of other planets and it's definitely worth mentioning. The Mars drone has already made four autonomous flights in the thin atmosphere of the Red Planet, which is only 1% of Earth's atmosphere. It's not equipped with any scientific instruments, except a laser altimeter, a gyro stabilizer, and video cameras. One camera is responsible for navigation, i.e. determining location, directions, and speed. The second camera is a 13 megapixel color camera and it takes pictures on the surface of Mars. Helicopter communication with Earth is carried out through the rover. The mass of ingenuity on Earth is 1.8 kilograms and on Mars about 0.7 kilograms. The helicopter is lifted by air by two propellers, each 1.2 meters long and weighing only 35 grams. They are made of carbon fiber and covered with solar panels for recharging the drone. A pair of parallel mounted propellers rotates in opposite directions around the common axis at about 23 to 2900 revolutions per minute. By comparison, terrestrial helicopters make about 500 revolutions per minute. Construction robots also made their mark this year. There were no such spectacular ones as the HRP-5P, but the Baobot from Australian startup Princestones also looks good. It's an electrically driven robot that reaches its destination on cross-country tracks at speeds of just over three kilometers per hour. It can overcome stairs and thresholds, carry loads of up to 500 kilograms, and work for eight hours without any recharging. Baobot can be controlled from the display on the robot and from a smartphone, as well as by setting points on a pre-made map. The robot is equipped with cameras, its own lighting, and a robotic arm with a range of up to one meter and an accuracy tolerance of less than one millimeter. The robot arm is designed to handle a variety of tools and can both wrap a screw or weld metal and lay bricks. In the future, after thousands of hours of training and simulation, the robot will be able to work not only with humans, but also with other robots, and this would let the human only supervise the construction. Australia is testing an apple picking robot. The robot uses a combination of cameras and deep learning algorithms to scan trees and detect fruit, which requires it to process information about the shape, orientation, and the branch location. The robot can grip the apple with a specially designed pneumatic operated soft grip that does not injure the fruit. The gripper can retrieve more than 85% of all apples on a tree, and the robot itself can identify more than 90% of the apples in its camera field of view at a distance of just over one meter. The machine can operate in all light and weather conditions and at speeds of seven seconds per apple. Another major discovery in robotics this year was the microscopic robots capable of becoming medical instruments. The robots created at Cornell University are about five microns thick and only 40 microns wide. Equipped with feet the size of a few tens of atoms, they can move with laser pulses and interact directly with human body cells. The robots are resistant to a variety of environments, including extreme acidity and temperatures. But most importantly, it's fast and easy to produce them. In theory, they can both heal wounds from polymer shells around tumors, preventing them from growing. 